Hi friends, today in this video tutorial we will check out in the Rindec POS software which are the types of, uh, types of sales uh, panels are there and what is the use for that. Uh, basically today in this video we will see how we can do the counter of sales. For the, uh, to do the counter of sales there is in the left side you can see there is a POS and POS plus. For counter sale we need to go to the POS, click on POS. In the top, uh, top area you can see the customer ID information and all. This one you can edit it also. Normally the customer ID sees 0001 will be the uh, first customer it will come on default. We can change that one also we can click on a, a edit button and in the this is a cache I have done uh, you can click on edit. Uh, you can go, go here uh, in customers uh, profile entry and get data if you want to do some changes in the cache by button you can change here also here the first name. Customer ID uh, C0001 will be the default customer always. Here also you can mention the cash as, as well. Cash. And here you can change your, um, for example, Delhi. You can change your state also. Delhi, I have selected. You can change your mobile number and all the things. You can just click on update. So whenever you are uh, opening the POS page, automatically that information will come over there. See the Delhi scheme here already. So uh, next step is that you have to select the products like that. You can select the product like this way also. Add to cart. Select again next product. Add to cart. Select again another product. Add to cart. Like that. Multiple products whatever is customer is taking from your shop. You can select like that. And for example, your customer, uh, he uh, going for taking uh, any other products also. You can just click on hold button. So this customer is under hold actually. Here you can see the hold record also. And uh, some other customer came to you for uh, purchasing some other products. You can just click on add to cart. Here again click on add to cart. Like that you can uh, add the products. And you can make right side here there is a button called settle. For example, there is a um, total cash amount is 3000, sorry, 1176 rupees. So here I am uh, putting a final discount as well, a write off amount 76 rupees. 76 rupees I given him a discount and 1100 only he is paying to us. And he can, we can generate a brand here. When we are generating brand, if we are connected our uh, printer directly, our POS printer directly, automatically bill will go to the POS printer. We will check how we will add, uh, connect to the printer as well. Uh, here I already connected the printer, that's the reason it came here already the uh, print. Here you can see the printout uh, preview. See these are the products uh, he have taken. See here you can see there is a write off amount is there 76 rupees. 1100 he paid and what are the items he have taken from us all the clear uh, POS bill directly it will go to the customer uh, uh, customer uh, means it will uh, print it to the print, uh, print, uh, print it through the printer and in the end of the section you can see there is some terms and conditions also uh, this one you can edit as well uh, there is an option is called uh, edit option uh, is available already I will show you that one also. And uh, before doing the, showing that one, I will show you that uh, hold uh, customer how we can handle. Uh, we will go to the hold record. There one customer was under hold. Select that customer. Then uh, what are the products he have taken before it will come there automatically. Just uh, add another new products what he taken extra. Add it. Add it again and again. Add it. Yes, add to cart. Again go to settle. That customer also we are going to settle. There is another print options are available, 2 inch, 3 inch estimate bill, 3 inch mini bill, all the options are available. I will go to the estimate bill as well. For example, uh, 2000 rupees he have paid uh, the customer. I will uh, click on print it. There is ex estimate bill uh, for the such kind of people, the, those uh, are, are under government uh, scheme. Uh, plans are there. In that pl uh, plans you can create without... Uh, means there is they are excluded from uh, tax paying like um, below 20 lakhs per or below 40 lakhs per uh, um, annual income they can go, go for uh, composition plan 
for those people they can use this kind of estimate bill uh, format there is no tax information only product name will be there and the discount will be there and amount will be there and the total amount will be uh, will come over there such a way you can uh, generate the estimate bill also from your pos bill this is counter sale basically and uh, as, uh, as i told you before i will show you how to set up the printer also here in the master entry there is a terminal settings are there in the terminal settings we will uh, drop down which are, which are the printer you have pos printer and uh, you have to select here thermal thermal uh, if it is thermal printer then click on update um, before uh, doing that you have to click in this line hp this line you can see in the down here you have to select first or you have you can delete this uh, uh, existing printer over there you can add uh, from the beginning else there is no options and uh, in the uh, control panel uh, there is a printer you should make it default as well in the hardware and sound hardware and sound when devices and printers when you are going to devices and printers all the printer icons you can see over there that uh, the printer which you are seeing for uh, uh, PO, uh, which you are using for POS you have to make that printer as default for example PM XP360B I am using as a uh, um, counter sale printer that printer I just click at as a default printer then only that particular printer will go to directly to that printer and you can make quick bill um, in this POS billing software. In a, such a nice manner you can uh, generate invoice to your customers. Uh, this is called a counter sale. In this counter sale uh, it is so easy to make the sales. In the, it's a quick sale actually. Even hundreds of customers are coming there. You can just uh, scan the products. There is a barcode options are also available. Just uh, scan the products automatically uh, products you can uh, sell it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please watch our next videos also so that you will get clear idea how to use our uh, Raindock POS billing software. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video.